Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Aris Legata Smith and this is a channel where we like to talk about writing, learning, and creating. The AuthorCube Newbie Tag 2.0 was created by Jenna Streety. I think she was also the person who came up with the original AuthorCube Newbie Tag. If she wasn't, I'm sorry. Um, but either way, I am pretty thankful that these tags exist because it gives a great opportunity for all of us AuthorTubers to connect because there are quite a few out there. So thank you for this opportunity to be able to talk to everybody about why I'm here and what I'm doing. So I did like some of the stuff that was in the original author tube newbie tag that didn't make it into the 2.0 version. So I hope it's okay that I kind of want to splice things together a little bit, getting rid of the prompts that were duplicated into the new one. So I will show a difference between the questions from the first tag and the questions from the 2.0 tag. You can find all the questions in the description below and I will have them pop up onto the screen so that you can maybe answer the questions about yourself along with me. I don't know exactly how I discovered AuthorTube. I don't remember if I was searching for something or if it just came up in my suggested, but the first AuthorTuber that I ever came across was Jenna Moresi. It was shortly before she released her Eve the Awakening book, and I was watching a bunch of her writing advice videos that led up to the release of that book, and I've been watching her channel ever since. Love her stuff. It's great. Wonderful time. So that's how I got introduced to Author Two. And I very clearly remember the first story that I ever wrote because it was all about the pictures. I'm a very big geek, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And so my first ever story that I wrote was a Star Wars fan fiction of sorts. Although at that age, I didn't even know that fan fiction was a thing yet. It was pretty young and I did it mostly to draw the pictures. And so it was like one sentence per page and then this huge picture in order to tell the story. And it was gloriously bad. My older brother who read the stories after I made them, we have like running jokes based off of what happened in those early stories. So fun. And the one that inspires me the most is the one who got me into reading. I really hated reading for the longest time and then I found a book by Brian Davis called Raising Dragons. It was a Christian fantasy story and it was really cool to me because I had never seen anything like that especially in like a Christian genre because usually the Christian genre kind of is either Amish romances, historical romances, or Christian horror and yeah that's a thing which is interesting but I hadn't really come across any fantasy stories and so it was the first thing that really sung for me and so I don't know if I could have been into reading or writing as much if it wasn't for the fact that I found this so Brian Davis is a huge inspiration to me. For me, it's handwriting. I prefer to handwrite everything. It's just the way that I am and it's my preference. And it's also pencil. I, I don't really like writing in pen so much. I will write in pen for specific things, but I, I really don't like writing in pen. I don't know why. Some people like really hate writing in pencil. And specifically, it's supposed to be just like a short sentence or maybe two, not like a full book blurb. So here is my very shortened pitch for my book. Justin Breyer sees the world very differently so differently that most people think that he's crazy, but can he get the right people to listen before somebody dies? If you were a book, how would you pitch yourself? 
here we go. Paris Legata Smith is an old soul geeky writer and teacher. She roams the world looking for friends, but she is so heavily introverted that you have to wonder, will she ever find them? My answer is fantasy. I write a wide range within the genre of fantasy. Uh, usually I lean more towards the high fantasy side. Um, I do dabble into dark fantasy, urban fantasy, all the fantasies. Mostly fantasy is my genre. I have tried other little things, but you're mostly going to see For me, full bore romance stories is something that you will probably never see. Um, I'm not a very romantic person. I don't do so well with writing out romances. It's just never been something that I was into. So you might find like small elements of romance or very subtle romance throughout different stories that you read from me, but you will probably never see a full straight romance novel out of it. My goal is twofold. The first one is the more obvious one where I am looking to build an audience for myself and for my writing so that when I go to publish my book, there will be people who know that I'm alive and so they'll buy it. That would be great. But the second and more important to me reason why I'm starting an AuthorTube channel is because I want to get more involved with the AuthorTube community and I want to get more involved with people who are creative and build a creative community where we can just encourage each other and help each other towards our creative goals because that's something that I really struggled with in the past where I'm not very outgoing so it's very hard for me to go find people so For me, that's kind of a loaded question, and because this is supposed to be a lighthearted video, I won't go too deeply into things, so we'll just say that I was in a really bad place in my life when I was younger. Um, very bad mental health-wise, very bad in other areas, and writing was the thing that helped me through that. By going to writing, I was able to bend out emotions that I felt like I couldn't talk to anybody else about, and I was able to work out problems that I was having in a theoretical and safe space. I was able to look at facets of myself, ponder questions that I didn't feel comfortable with doing out loud. And it was just my safe place. It was the place where the, it was the place where I could find answers for things and find healing for things that I didn't know how to find answers for or healing for in my regular life. And so that's also kind of the reason why I decided to publish my writing at this point, because I know that I'm not the only person who is living in those types of circumstances. And if my writing was helpful to me, I'm hoping that it will be helpful to others. For me, I'm looking at doing the hybrid model type thing where there are specific works that I have in mind that I want to go independent for publishing and there are certain ones that I want to go traditional for publishing with. And that's largely related to my personal experience in the publishing industry, which at this time is zero. And also the fact that there are certain things that are good standalone works and other things that need to be in a series. And so depending on how things go, I will have to make adjustments depending on that. But. I'm thinking hybrid. And I have a design to fulfill three things. The first one is writing advice, where like many other author tubers out there, I am providing writing advice to people who are writers because the more perspectives you get on something, the more you have to work with for developing your own style which I think is important. 
The second facet is learning because I am also a teacher and I've noticed something about people and that is that once you get to a certain point in your life, you think you're either A, done learning or B, too old to learn something. And so there's something that people have always wanted to do and they won't do because I think they should have learned it ages ago and that is a fallacy, my friends. You can learn whatever you want to. So the learning side is supposed to encourage people to go out there and try things that they might not have tried before. And then the third and final portion of my channel, at least for now, is a creating side where I'm hoping that as we build a community on this channel, we will be able to do creative projects all together, whether they are art projects, doing writing projects together, or doing something else entirely, just having like that community and feedback area built in. For me, my biggest struggle, the thing that makes me want to cry as I'm doing it, is typing up my writing. Because I handwrite everything first, there has to be a point where it goes from being on paper to on my computer, and that is the most painful part of the process for me. I could have much bigger problems, I understand that, but for me, like, I just absolutely hate that. And I've tried so many different things other than like hiring someone to type it up for me because I don't have money. <laughs> but like, it's just the worst part for me. Like there's other things that are challenges or difficult, but like that's the one that makes me sad inside the try to I believe my best writing skill is my world building abilities. I usually err towards the side of high fantasy in the fantasy umbrella because of the fact that I do so much in-depth world building. I have full binders of information about the individual worlds that I have created and there's a lot of information there and a lot of stuff built in from languages to religions to society. And just the fact that I go in depth and I think through all these details when I'm building it. Oh, don't even get me started on the magic systems too. <laughs> so I think world building is my biggest trick. So questions 11 and 12 on the AuthorTube newbie tag 2.0 is, if you have been around for a long time on AuthorTube, please give some advice to newer people. And if you are a newer person on AuthorTube, ask a question of the people who've been around for a while to get some help. So I fell onto the new side of the spectrum there. So I will be asking a question of my fellow AuthorTubers out there. And that is, how can I build friendships with my other AuthorTubers who are on YouTube? There is quite a few AuthorTubers out there and I would really like to be able to build relationships with them and kind of further this community that we have here. But I'm not sure how to open the door there because I'm someone who struggles with social rules and knowing what lines I'm allowed to cross. Like, do I just talk to people or do I have to wait for them to talk to me? So how can I build friends here on other people? And what I'm really looking for is kind of like I said, a way to build more community, both with the other author tubers who are out there and with the viewers of my channel in general, where I just really want to plug into this creative group. So, I mean, part of the job description of a teacher that is not in the actual job description, but kind of is, is to be a cheerleader for your students. And so I kind of have like that cheerleader mentality built into me a little bit where it's like, I want to encourage people a lot. I really do. I want to encourage other author tubers and what they're doing. I want to encourage my viewers and what they're doing. So that's what I'm looking for is just more ways to encourage people.
It might sound silly to you, but what I'm looking for the most is the growing pains, where I'm really pushing myself to do things that I've never done before. And I'm pushing myself to let myself be in the public eye, which is not really my style. And so there's a lot of things that I'm doing that are pushing me to grow in a bunch of different areas. And it's super uncomfortable, but because of the fact that I know that I'm growing from it and I'm becoming a better person from it, I'm excited about it, even though it doesn't feel good, if that makes sense. I hope you had fun watching this video about my AuthorTube newbie tag 2.0. I hope you found the answers that I gave interesting, maybe even funny had a good time in some way or another. If you are interested in joining this community that I'm building here, or if you're an author tuber who's wanting to reach out to me or any of that, or if you just have something nice you want to say to people, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Other than that, have a great one. Till the next one.